Greetings and assalamu alaikum to all my viewers. I am Israr Ahmed Khan from English Essentials with IAK. And this is uh, an English lesson on planning report, which is a part of directed writing of the English language paper 1123-1. So here we go. A planning report asks or should answer these questions. These information should be there. Who is it from? Who is it for? What is it about? And it should have the date and it should have the writer's signature. What will be done? How will it be done? When will it be done? So this is what a planning report answers. Planning report. The planning report describes what is to be done, how and when it is to be carried out. It includes speci a specification of the aim, a description of how the work is to be carried out, and an implementation schedule. In other words, the planning report answers the questions what, how, and when. Planning report, uh, its tone is serious and businesslike. Contractions are not allowed. Fragments are not allowed. They are not used. Only formal language is used. Unlike uh, eyewitness report where we were using past uh, tense, here you will probably use present or future tenses. How do I start? Well, here is, uh, here is our task, planning a school trip, okay? When they will go, where they will go, how they will go, how many students will go, how much will they pay, transport arrangements, when will students assemble at school? What can they carry with them? What will be the dress code? What time will they come back? Any other information is most welcome because your job is to help the reader. So, the first one, the first paragraph, in response to your instructions for, a, for planning a report for a school trip, here are some suggestions. So as you can see these uh, empty lines, so I hope uh, you can uh, fill these empty lines with the help of those questions on the previous page. Here are my comments. As you can see, the start is simple and direct. I have tried to help the concerned authorities with this report. I've mentioned suggestions in the first paragraph. Next, I can give a list of suggestions, you know, maybe uh, what, uh, talk about them in detail. How do I continue it? The cost to the proposed trip is uh, likely to be about park rupees, so and so, which can be shared by students. And then, you know, empty space, blank space. Uh, my comments, I mentioned uh, the cost of the trip and also suggested that it will be shared by the students. I can give details of 
why or how the trip will cost this amount. Next, students will report to school at 8 a.m. Comments. Trying to help the recipients of my report, I added further details by mentioning the reporting time of students in the morning. The following sentences will speak about the seating arrangements, teachers' duties, etc. The same paragraph will speak further about the trip. Maybe one more paragraph will be needed here. How do I finish it? Finish it in style. Huh? The bus will return to school at 8 p.m. So the parents can come to pick their children at, nine, at about 9 p.m. Okay. So here are the comments. You can notice that I'm summing up in this paragraph, I will probably mention the teacher's duties once again, along with further end of the trip details. And last of all, here is the format. The same format which was used for eyewitness report. The same format, no difference. The only difference is that this is uh, a plan report, a planning report, and that was an eyewitness report. So, thank you very much for watching English Essentials with IAK. I'm your host, Isra Ahmed Khan, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye and take care.